Each photo is a story of alleged injustice. Each mother's face reveals the pain of having lost a son to a military prison. I would do anything right now for my son to come back to me. I would give my life. Om Ahmed Gaber's 18-year-old son Ahmed was arrested in Tahrir Square in February and tried in a military court. Gaber says he was sentenced to five years in prison for breaking curfew, carrying materials to make Molotov cocktails, and disturbing the peace. Gaber says Ahmed was merely looking for his injured brother. The group No to Military Trials says Ahmed is one of an estimated 12,000 civilians imprisoned after being unlawfully tried and convicted in military court since Mubarak's ouster. Critics say it's impossible to get a fair trial and there is no right to an appeal. They're sending a very strong message that if you're opposition, you are the enemy. And we will use um, the tools that we have at our disposal uh, to, you know, to, to put you down. Activists are using the weapon of negative publicity, raising awareness through news conferences like this where families come to share their anguish. They're also pressing political candidates to attack the military's use of these courts. In an interview with Al Ahram Weekly, the head of the Military Justice Authority insisted that, quote, freedom of expression is absolutely protected, provided laws which protect social unity and peace are not broken, end quote. You can only have stability with justice. Activists want the thousands of military prisons to be tried in civilian courts, something they say would take only a month. In the meantime, there are small victories. This week, the military dropped charges against activists Asma Mahfouz and Luai Nagati after public outcry. They were accused of insulting and inciting violence against the military. And this gives Gaber hope. I'm putting my faith in God. It's only a matter of time until justice is served and everyone is released. Until then, she and an army of mothers continue to fight for the release of their sons. Natasha Ganem for El Ahram Online.